Hi, we're Joel and Leah, and today we are in Coventry to visit St Mary's Guildhall. So, really excitingly, we're going to be having a little tour around. We'll take you guys with us, and after that, we're going to go and show you the cathedral ruins and some other little parts of Coventry. Are you excited, yeah, Joel? I'm excited, never been here, so <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Having grown up just outside of Coventry, this video is actually really exciting for me because Coventry never really gets that much attention. And we recently won City of Culture in 2021, and part of that has really helped get the city back on its feet after the pandemic and thanks to the National Lottery Heritage Fund the Guildhall has been restored recently that's why I'm super excited today to go and have a look around a slice of history in the centre of what is basically my hometown is it your first time in Coventry? first time ever in Coventry it, do you know what nice. if I wasn't allowed to end up going to Rada I wouldn't might have ended up going to like something round here we really? would have never have met no, so, that's so weird, I know it? it's funny i was just like oh my god if i ended up going to college yeah. around here or did cov uni i just yeah. would never have gone to rada we never met and this and channel i wouldn't be here probably <laughs> we wouldn't be in coventry so why would you be here okay yeah. just need to figure out if we're going in there right, this way. uh yeah i'm just gonna okay. get my little map up guys so we're kind of where the ruins are in yeah, there it's the other, other side, side of them so, so we just we walk, walk along around. there yeah, that's uh, a university building down there. There's also a cute little coffee shop. I'm sure we'll have a bit of time after the tour to just give yeah. people a whiz round the historic part. Definitely, because Coventry yeah. probably, if you're not from the UK, Coventry's not like a major city that you would, that we'd have expected you to hurt, like have heard of. Yeah. Like it's, it's a bit more of, it's not a major city basically. No, but it gets outshined by, well, because it's so close to Birmingham that ends up yeah. being, it's like London, Manchester, Birmingham. Everyone's heard of Birmingham. Little quick sneak peek at the cathedral ruins and there's a guided tour going on let's keep going oh, there's a mass we'll, we'll, we'll have a little look at the it. we shall find out today that's what this channel's about exactly. isn't it We're learning with, with us, us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh here we are so this is st mary's guild hall and then this is the I love showing you guys plaques because people always love to read them. So feel free to pause this moment in the video. They've got the sounds. Oh, it's, the, it's the tales of tea. We, we were really hoping to go to that. It is order. That is so <laughs> We were like, like, what is this? Okay. Also, <laughs> doors in those days, my height. So, yeah, you'd have been in perfect. Born in the wrong era, guys. Born in the wrong era. Okay. Oh, wow. It's actually really well preserved. I think maybe because it's not always open. Yeah, so. must be. This is lovely. Tickets and then the tails of tea is that way. Which is afternoon tea. Yeah. Oh, lovely. So let's have a little peek through this window so you can see it. Oh, it looks super cute, doesn't it? Oh, lovely. Oh, there's people. There's people <laughs> oh, waving <looking>. at them. <laughs> yeah. They're not they're really bougie. Oh, there's a little bar in there. Oh yeah, I see some bar stools. Oh, lovely. Okay. If we hadn't had just afternoon tea just now, we yeah. might have gone. Yeah. But another part of um, the renovation was, this is a brand new door to take us through to the medieval kitchen. Okay. Because up until two years ago, um, the room you're about to see was the working kitchen for the Guildhall. Anyway, like the wedding here, all the food came out of it, and they took away this really dodgy 1950s plastic kitchen. They found the original medieval kitchen. Wow. wow. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever seen a medieval kitchen before. Oh, wow. So it's one of the finest preserves so in the country. Cool. Oh my goodness. They just gave up and put a brand new kitchen on top of it in the end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's really nice about the building is there's so much graffiti from over the years. Yeah. Well, this is covered in plastics. We've got September 2277. We know it's not 1977 because no. it was oh, yeah. there. So it'll be interesting to see. The oldest piece of graffiti we found is 1622, which I'll show you in the front. So cool. The newest I found is 2019. <laughs> so to, where was it? Shakespeare's birthplace. They had a window that had been etched with pilgrims over the years, but not mm -hmm. recent, like ones from like 1500, 1600, Yeah. It was just really weird to think people back then were graffiti even back then. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm very impressed with just the how well preserved everything is like you just wouldn't expect like we were saying earlier off camera in the middle of Coventry to find this grand hall it's um it's really beautiful so the elephant and the castle is Coventry's sort of symbol of strength apparently <laughs> so that's what i always wondered why there was that huge swimming there's like a swimming bath you know the cov swimming bath yeah isn't that an elephant upside yes, down elephant it's supposed or to be an elephant supposed yeah. to be an elephant yeah so <laughs> and then when i saw the elephant and castle stained glass i was like it's all coming together Amazing. yeah this is supposed to be another elephant and castle but <laughs> yeah, it yeah. doesn't look so much like an elephant i'm wondering if like London, the area of london that's called elephant and castle stole it from coventry like i'm wondering what came first because you've got Elephant and Castle being this Coventry symbol of like strength and then you got like randomly Elephant and Castle on the tube oh, map in London. So I've been trying to do a little bit of research into this from what I can tell is yeah. it was just really fashionable at the time to okay. say to use the Elephant and Castle emblem so we really? kind of carried it on but I don't think we were the only people doing it at okay. the time. So it's not, it might not be unique to Coventry but they still take pride yeah. in the Elephant and the Castle. Yeah nice and this is apparently one of the oldest pieces of furniture in this building which is awesome. Wow. It does look really odd. Yeah, do not sit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look at the detail on it. Amazing. Wow. Uh, I like the creative ways as well that it's yes. to be like, don't sit on it too clearly. We did consider that. Yeah. It would be spiky things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So this room, did you say it's not used at the, like for anything really anymore? Or is it like a council room again? No. At no. the moment it's just part of our visitor experience. You can yeah. come and see it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it'd be too, it's too good to use. Yeah. This is the treasury. So this would have been used to hold all the important things for the guilds and the council, but then also um, during the War of the Roses, when Henry VI and Margaret of Anjou moved their court to Coventry, yeah. it held the crown jewels and all the taxes for the country. That's wow! Like. And this is all we've got these big three locks. Blimey! Oh my gosh, yeah. Can't believe this room held the crown jewels. And as well as that, with extra protection, we've got the witch marks on the wall. Okay. So you see they're always coming <gasps> threes. They look yeah. um, a bit like oh you two overlap in these. So oh my gosh. They call on the protection of the Virgin Mary to keep everything in this room safe. Wow. Um, you might notice that some of the stonework in here is really new. That's because it got bombed during the war. Yeah. It took the side of it off. But interestingly, you can see but it, that wall has got the protection marks on it. Yeah, yeah. that's the original. It survived. Yeah. So wow. That's all old. These bits are new because they look too good. Yes, yeah, so that's that was got rebuilt bombed. in the 50s. 50s. I can't wow. believe this, which is like this is, so amazing. And then I, um, the floor looks original, but I don't know if yeah. that may be. That is some of the original medieval tiling from the Great Hall. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, a few hundred years ago, one of the mayors decided to rip up the medieval floor no and way. sprung dance floor to celebrate him becoming the mayor. Oh my, oh my god. Yeah. I think that's the thing that like, we just keep discovering that there's times in the not so recent, like sort of semi recently, yeah. where people just didn't really care. They didn't really respect And now it we're like, day. how could you do that? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Cool. Well, at least they've been able to reuse some and put it yeah, back. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, and really beautiful. Yeah. Every yeah, time awesome. I look at them, I notice a different pattern. Yeah. See the little W's on the wall, but not know anything. About no, I don't think people really spot them. Mm. Wow, well, I like the view from up here. Yeah. yeah. This is awesome. Especially if you're waiting for Got to be super careful going over this bit, guys. Look, the stairs we're going over there. Okay, this is so worth it, though. Well done, Joel. <laughs> oh wow, this is very higgledy piggledy. Love it. So, in the 1800s, a local Coventry school held their entire library in this room and it's just ruined the structure and integrity of the building. Wow, okay. Yeah, so yeah. these big rods here are just saving it from falling into the courtyard. Wow, crikey, let's have a little nosy down there. Okay, yeah, the courtyard where we came in. Look, you can see how it just slants all the way down due to being overloaded with books from a school library. <laughs> Crazy. I just, you can't imagine that until you look and you're like, oh, okay, this is where our heavy books were. <laughs> Walking towards it. Oh, wow. That, I think because we're up at a height, I suddenly felt a little bit ill when you did that. 
I'm gonna, shall I open this one? Oh, oh, there's actually a, yeah, staircase here. So part of our Halloween trail that I'm writing at the moment just yeah. says, open all the doors, what should yeah. be there? Um, there's gonna be a skeleton in there, but I think That's it'd be really so fun for the children just to open them and be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, especially if they're all down there as well, you could hire someone in a costume just to be waiting up here and you could get, wait, like, get them to look up and suddenly there's someone there. <laughs> that would be so good. That yeah. makes some children cry. You might do. <laughs> <laughs> Another tiny door here. I love the tiny doors because they all lead Here's somewhere. Tiny door. So we found oh, it during wow. one of the, I think the 1920 renovations. I think that has. Oh, so yeah, got, I see. I think it got rebuilt in the war, but we knew it was there before. It just goes, it doesn't go anywhere. So we know at some point there was another floor. Wow. I'm not sure if it's on the shelf. How small this door is. <laughs> it makes you even look tall. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Wow. So this is quite a fun little area where you can play dress up, which is cool. Oh, through another small door. Oh yeah. <laughs> Newer graffiti in here. I miss what this room was. It just uh, uh, what's this bit? So they thought Mary Queen of Scots was held in here, but then they've oh. done some more digging and research and. It was the other room, wasn't? Room. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the one we went in. Yeah. Wow, I absolutely love all of the carvings in the wood, like the wood panels are just so stunning. And the furniture, it's just so lovely. Look at the detail. So this is called the Prince's Chamber, but apparently it's got nothing to do with the prince. That it used to be a buttery <laughs> before them being used as like a guild, like a meeting place for council members and things like that. So how wow. strange. So I'm sh unless I've got buttery wrong, is that where they made butter? Must be. Must be. Must be. What else could it? Should I Google what was what? Was yeah. It? What is a buttery? I feel like it might not be that. Okay. What is a buttery? So what is a buttery in the UK according to British food history? A buttery was a room in a castle or abbot where wine and other drinks were stored. Oh, yes, in and Sometimes served. Oh, yeah. Like, like, this is where they make butter. Do you know what? I've heard that before, though. Yeah. That I was like, no, this rings a bell where it's not what you think. Yeah. And it's not, yeah, of course, butts of wine in yeah. like they keep it in sheepskins or not sheepskins, but animal skins. Yeah. So that was all happening in here before it became the mm. sort of, what did they call it? What did they go? The Prince's Chamber. The Prince's Chamber. Yeah. Wow, I'm really impressed mm. with Guildhall in general. It's just yeah. full of history and it's amazing that they've restored parts of it, done this huge renovation because it's been closed for years. So mm. even local people in the area have only sort of had access um, since July, yeah. apart from when it was open way, way before that. But it's definitely one to visit um, if you're in and around yeah. um, Coventry, Warwickshire. It's really, really good. Amazing that this is one of those places that's a bit more personal to you because normally yeah. we're going to places we don't know, but because yeah, you're from no, this no, area. Yeah, no, for um, sure. I, and I've learned a lot today that I feel mm. like, oh, I should have known that. But I, you know, the sort of the Lady Godiva references, I was like, oh, of course, because like, you hear of these local people growing up. Like when I used to stay at my grandma's house, there was a painting on the wall in my bedroom of Lady Godiva riding through the Coventry city centre. And I'd always be like, why is there a naked lady on a horse? Yeah. My grandma would be like, it's Lady Godiva. I have no idea who she is. I just hear her in songs, like I mean, in popular music. Yeah. Well, the tale goes that she, basically her husband, Leofric, was demanding like a tax of people on Coventry. And she was just like, this is so unfair for people to pay this extra tax. So as like a way of her campaigning for him to stop, she rode through the streets. She did like this bold thing way ahead of her time, getting naked and riding on Do you think horse. it started a discussion at home over the dinner and she was like, if you do this, I'm, I'm gonna ride through the it. town naked. And he's like, no, you no, won't. And she's like, oh, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I actually don't know if it worked. I should probably find out yeah. um, if it did work. But her aim was to help the citizens of Coventry. And so that's why people love her. She's so famous. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to pop our heads into the Tales of Tea room, which was where we poked our heads in. Well, we had a little look through the glass earlier, just to sort of round it all off, show you guys in there, and wow. maybe grab a little cuppa yeah. before the ride home. Why not? Wow. This is beautiful. This looks amazing. <laughs> 
God, they've done it so beautifully. Oh, look how lovely it is, guys. It's it's a lot nicer as well on the inside than it looks from the out. Yeah. So that's the window that we looked through, and suddenly in here it looks so much nicer. Yes, it looks beautiful. They've, they've done it amazingly. Yeah. And I mean, I know it's only been a few hours, probably, since so we had a cup of tea, but maybe just another. Another one won't hurt. Another one won't. Hurt. <laughs> wow, they do loads of stuff here. You can even come in and get brekkie. Oh wow. Oh, crispy bacon oh, Why not? <laughs> so what coffee did you go for, Joel? It was like an emperor. It was, uh, I wish I could remember. It's some sort of radical <laughs> coffee, but it's like their... It's you a know signature. It's special. Yeah. That's what I'll say. I should have memorised it, but it, it's a special coffee. It's a special coffee. And I've gone for a tea that has like a rum flavouring. It's got cinnamon. Oh, it smells boozy, but it is non-alcoholic. So let's have a look. All right, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna get Joel to film me just in okay, case yeah. I drop it. Um, Come on, then. Oh, it's very nice. Ooh. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh. Can't delicious. take her anywhere. Can't take me anywhere, guys. Let's right. put that in the little bin. Is it too hot to try? Are you gonna give it a go? I Tell us what the rum coffee this. tastes like. It's not got actual rum in it, guys. It's like my gin and tonic one from the other video, where it supposedly tastes like it. Oh, yeah, no, it just tastes like um, uh, a bit of clove, a bit of cinnamon, a bit of. Oh, amazing. It's really nice, but no, there's no alcohol. Ah, love it's it. mocktail tea. <laughs> then she gets a little uh, thing out of her jacket. What do yeah. they call it? Little flask. Yeah, flask. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed that. I know, that was so good. It was like so educational and amazing Brilliant. to think that that guild hall was for years plastered up and made all 1950s. Like no respect for the history. Yeah. And now, since the renovation, they've exposed it all. And like where we were sitting just then for a cup of tea and a coffee, she was like, "Oh, all of this was carpet." And they like ripped it all up and found the original flooring underneath, and it's just beautiful. Yeah, it's so much more pretty. So, and, so uh, nice. Yeah, it's been a really, really lovely afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad we said no to cake because it's totally full. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, so full. full. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already seen our afternoon tea video at Kumabi, then go check that out. That's mm -hmm. why we're full. Yeah. And um, don't forget, we post videos every single week. Yeah. Please subscribe if you're new here. Give us a like. It really helps us out. Um, um, and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye, everyone.